I don't know, man. We gotta wait till we see. <laughs> uh, did, you know you were did you have an idea beforehand? Nah, I didn't have no idea, but I'm glad that I am, though. Yeah, are you ready for the rain? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm from Florida, man. It rains all the time. <laughs> it never rains. <laughs> it's all good. You've been so loyal to Illini Nation. As a fellow Illini myself, how do you? How are you gonna translate that loyalty to the Seahawks? Uh, just continue being the person that I am, um, not changing who I am. So, uh, Devin, you're joining a legendary group, of, a franchise that has a legendary history in the secondary. How excited are you to be trying to fit into that melt, uh, that brotherhood? I'm very excited. Um, I'm just very excited to get to work with those guys and just go out there and perform on the field. So, How does it feel playing for uh, Pete Carroll, legendary coach who's a defensive mind? Uh, how you feel about that? If I feel good um, knowing that I'm going to be able to get, get coached very hard and critique very hard, but they just want the best for me, so I'm glad. Yes, I've been to Seattle before. It's a, it's a very nice city. Known for uh, allowing and encouraging competition, what are you uh, most excited to compete, uh, or who are you most excited to compete with and bring to Seattle? Uh, I'm excited to compete, compete with everybody, but um, I get a chance to go against DK Metcalf every day in practice, so you don't get no better than that. You know, just a big receiver, but you get you get so much to learn from that. So. Yeah, and there were a lot of great wide receivers like Debo Samuel and Cooper Cup. Who are you looking forward to guarding most? Everybody. I mean, those are all great receivers. I mean, you can always get better when you go against those. So if you want to be the best, you got to go against the best. So. Yeah, the fan base in Seattle is known to be very rabid. Whoa. Sorry, the fan base in Seattle is known to be quite rabid. What do you have to say for the 12s? Uh, continue to be y'all. <laughs> of course, man. I just without the fans, we won't be we won't be football players for real. So. Devin, you were unranked coming out of high school. What would you say to that younger Devin then? Uh, just continue to be who you are. Just never give up. Um. Like I said, you always been overlooked when, uh, as a kid, so it never really mattered to me. It seemed like a very confident that you didn't want to think too far ahead for that moment. Uh, what was that moment like for you when it happened? Uh, it, was, it was dope. I can't even really describe it and put it into words. But, um, just like, kind of like the world lifted off my shoulders for real. Um, so it was just very exciting. I'm, I'm glad that it happened. Yeah, with all the work you put in over the years, did you feel like it's worth it, all that, all that you did? I can hear you. What do you say? All the work you put in over the years, does today kind of make it all feel worthwhile? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it definitely feels worthwhile. But um, we still got a lot of work to do. Um, you still got to prove yourself in this league, man. This league is amongst the great, the best of the best. So um, you got to go out there and compete every day. The Seahawks are on the clock right now. Who are you going to pick with this pick right now? I have no idea, but I, I trust. I, tr I trust Coach to make the right decision. So, hey. Devin, what was your biggest takeaway from playing at U of I? You were kind of one of the catalysts to put that program back on the map. Um, you know, just getting experience of playing the cold for real. But <laughs> the cold was vicious. Uh, but uh, having that um, experience in that uh, weather, it's just I'm gonna be able to play any any type of game. So being playing in a, such a young secondary, but a pretty good secondary last year, obviously. What are you gonna kind of set the standard as? What are you gonna expect from your teammates in that cornerback room? Um, just go out there and compete every day. Just be the best, uh, be the best us every day. So um, go out there and just set the tone, have swag, you know, just have some fun. But we about our business. So Devin, there was a lot of comparisons between you and Sauce Gardner coming out of college, uh, with you not giving up many touchdowns, if any. Uh, do you take do you take any heed to that, or do you revel like do you revel in that, or is that something that you're looking forward to holding up to once you get to see? I mean, I never really think about it like that. Um, Sauce is a great player though. Like he had a great rookie year. Um, so he just put on like I'm a DB fan, so he put on for the corners, man. So shout out to him for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to continue keep that trend going. So have you spoken to Richard Sherman? I have not spoken to Richard Sherman. Will, will you want to? Please? Of course, it's Richard Sherman. <laughs> 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 Who won't want to speak to him? Are you playing corner? Of course. Why was it important? Uh, uh, you know, I think I talked a little bit at the community clinic uh, yesterday with the kids and everything. Maybe not, but it seemed like a very likable guy. Yeah, I like uh, I think I fit in pretty good. Um, I just love to have fun and laugh every day, but we're going to come out there and work hard. But um, you just got to have some fun while you're out there. So. Yeah, with that, Pete Carroll seems like a, he's known as a coach that likes to joke, play practical jokes. Does that, that kind of fit your, your, your attitude and your Oh, yeah, yeah. We got we got to joke around, man. It's just you got to uh, take some stress off, you know. So, um, yeah, I love to joke around. But, but when business is, when the business comes, it's about business. Corner that you thought might have actually took you in the draft, or any ideas? Man, I have no idea. I don't know. Watching the draft over these couple of years, you never know what, what's going to happen. So I really ain't have no set idea on who who's going to draft. 
vividly remember about your junior year of high school when you decided to try football? Uh, I remember I came out in the spring. Um, and yeah, like first day of practice, man, I had like two, two, three interceptions. And uh, Coach said, you're going to be my star in safety. So I just remember that. That was the biggest thing. Who's number one? You were ruling. Huh? Who's going to be number one? On week, who's going to be cornerback one on week one? You were Tariq Wool. I don't know. We don't know yet. Compliment Tariq Wool and with how you play. Nah. Um, just know he's going to be able to trust somebody else on the opposite side of him. You know, uh, he know he's going to get from me every day. Um, so it's just going to be good knowing you can trust somebody on the opposite side of you um, who's going to be physical, who's going to bring the, bring the energy and the swag and just uh, have everybody get juiced up. So. What did your family say to you when you got drafted? Um, they really didn't say nothing. They was too busy <laughs> crying and, and laughing and just excited. So we really didn't have a chance to speak no words. Okay, we got time. One should... last question. One last question. First row right here. Top five pick Devin Titus. Uh, it's crazy because I really don't even kind of think about it for real. Um, but I'm, I'm glad it was me. Um, I remember uh, working, um, working hard in the summer, um, just with, with my teammates and my guys. So uh, without them, I wouldn't be able to ha uh, get drafted this high. So shout out to my defense. So thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.